Alright guys, just like I've always said, good teams don't take any opponents lightly. We need to play our best game tonight if we want to get a win. Take it to him, you guys ready? I'm ready, I'm ready, let's go! Let's go, 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 let's go! It's college hoops on 2K Sports. The Kansas Jayhawks take on the Ohio State Buckeyes. We should have a great one in store for you today. Welcome, everybody. We're here at Value City Arena. I'm Vern Lundquist with my partner, Bill Raftery, and our sideline reporter, Bonnie Bernstein. Give us your take, Bill. This game features a matchup between two outstanding big fellas. Number 20 is certainly among the best big men in college basketball. He's a magician with the basketball. He can really get creative with the ball in his hands. Number 24 is also very capable at center. This guy is a defensive powerhouse. This is the kind of guy you just love to have on your team. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. Rolls the tip off and we'll get this one started. The game has just begun and they're already in the minimum. Beats it to the perimeter. Number 30. Dishes to the wing. Yanked down by number 20. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. Number 20 catches it. Middle. That last shot was dunked down. Number 20, when he gets close to the hoop, you know something special is going to happen. Baseline. Number 3, backs down. Number 25, has it on the perimeter. From deep. Collected inside by number 24. Takes it in. He pulled down that offensive board like it was no problem. What a battler. No good on that last shot by number 25. Number 45, lead pass to the middle. Backs down, perimeter. Passes to the outside. Number 45, tipped away. And it's gathered up by number 24. He picks up tons of steals for a big man. He's got quick hands, reads the situation, and which allows him the opportunity to snatch the ball cleanly. That's a big asset. Now let's check in with the third member of our team, Bonnie Bernstein. Bonnie? Thanks, Vern. Before the game, it caught up with the head coach of the Buckeyes. And he told me the biggest concern tonight is the other team's speed. He said, we know what we're up against, and so there aren't any excuses. If we don't hustle back on D every time out, they'll be dropping layups on us the entire game. Thank you, Bonnie. Dishes to the wing. Number 30 takes the shot. Misses the three-pointer. He didn't have a lot of room out there, and it kept him from getting comfortable on that shot. Number 45 gets it. Left wing. Skip pass. Top of the key. Number 14 to the bucket. Laid up and in by number 20. You gotta love his aggressiveness. He knows how to protect the ball and get to the tip. It's a four-point ball game. Defense! 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 Gets it outright. Defense! Number 24 kicks it out to the left corner. Misfired on that last three by number 25. About 17 and a half minutes left in the half. Outside. Feeds it to the top of the key. Number 14. It's picked off by number three. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Well, the pressure did its job, and they'll turn it over on the 10-second call. That's a big metal over there, Vern. There's no excuse not to get the ball up the court. to the low block, and they pull a foul. That's his first personal foul. 
first team foul. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. He ties it up. Right around 17 minutes left in the half. Number 12 has it base off. Got the last basket to fall. Great look. Way to find the open man. Number 33 inbounds the ball. Pass right wing. Number 25 gets it on the elbow. Number 33 fades away. Hits it. Talk about a difficult shot. What an effective use of the fadeaway. Beautiful. Number 14 swings it to the wing. Last play was back in by number 31. This guy is fun to watch, Vern. He can really fill it up. Right side. Bounces it to the baseline. With the fadeaway, it was drained by number 33. That's usually a little out of his range, but it didn't matter to him this time. Number 12 takes it in. Number 3 corrals the miss, and it's a one-point game. The little fella, what a competitor. No intimidation at all. Number 3 dishes it to the baseline. Number 15 catches it, top of the key, gets vertical. A lovely pass inside, and it's dunked home by number 33. You have to keep your head up and eyes open at all times playing with this guy. That's right, and you never know when or where he'll find you. Lead pass, right side. Number 20 backs down. Lays it up and in. Terrific move, Baron, for a guy who's known for his low post game. Right around 15 minutes left in the half. Number three has it right wing. Number 15, the tough shot. Number 45 yanks it down. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. Hangs in the air. The layup good by number three. Great delivery with the skip pass. That set up the shot perfectly. Number 45 inbounds the ball. Just one point separating the teams. Poked away, but it's retrieved by number 45. Number 14 beats it to the left wing. The three-pointer hit by number 12. The Jayhawks will take their first time out. We'll make some mass substitutions here. And it's a two-point game. Left wing, number four, pulls the trigger, takes the lead. Beautiful look. That is so pretty. Right around 14 minutes left in the half. Passes to the right wing. The baseline, Jay. Grabbed inside by Zero. That's questionable defending there. They're lucky to get away with a miss. Tip. Number 20 stepped on the line. And they will give the ball up. 
he forgot one of the most basic things in basketball there, his position on the floor. Number 30 inbounds the ball. Zero raises up. Connects. That deserves a look on the power bar triple threat replay. What a tremendous move. That's basketball for you. A three-point spread on the scoreboard. Number 14. Swings it to the corner. To time. The offensive rebound by number 20. Last shot stuck through for two. Not much you can do about that except get out of his way. Just over 13 minutes left in the half. Zero catches it outside. Bounce pass to the free throw line. Stolen away by number 12. I think these fans are getting excited, Fern. They're making some noise now. Number 12 takes the shot. Takes the lead. That's his bread and butter, Vern. He's just so tough on the inside. Kansas has not been able to shut down the inside game at all. Bonnie is by their bench with a report. The head coach is yelling onto the court, I want to see bodies banging in the paint. Coach is pretty frustrated about all the high percentage shots his team's allowed underneath. Thanks, Bonnie. Has it on the perimeter. Number 31 bounces it to the left. Perimeter dishes it to the perimeter. Number 14 puts it up. Number 20 snatches the offensive rebound. Number 20 pulled down that offensive board like it was no problem. What a battler. Just one point separating the teams. Number 15, the leaner inside. Yes. What a start, Fern. Both teams have been on a tear. This could be a very high-scoring game. Under 12 minutes left in the half. Stolen away by number 15. Number 20 inbounds the ball. Number 12 has it outside. Passes back. Perimeter. Number 31. It's tipped. And it's gathered up by number 24. Wonderful job of denying the basketball that time. Great pick. Last shot laid in by number 15. The Ohio State coach had no choice but to call timeout and try and stop this run. They don't want it to get out of hand. Bring in some players from off the bench. Number 45 inbounds the ball. Ohio State is shooting itself in the foot with all these turnovers. Bonnie has something for us. The head coach stood in front of the bench and said, look, if we can't hold on to the ball, we have no shot to win it. You know how stingy their defense is. Stay alert. Thanks, Bonnie. Number four finishes the break. Perfect execution on the break and oh, Go to the hoop strong, to the 10. The Buckeyes will try to end this run. Has it outside. Number one passes it to the wing. Number 31 hands it off. Puts it up. The 20-footer buried by number one. If he keeps hitting those mid-range shots, we might see him get a little more aggressive on this end of the floor. 
Perimeter. Swings it to the perimeter. Number 24. Dishes it to the outside. Number 4. Catches it. Top of the key. Outright. Number 3. Number 24. Pulls it down inside. And will go the other way. Nice block by number 45. Sends it back with authority. Boy, he really reshapes what you hope to do on offense. Catches it outside. Number 31. Bounces it to the right. Right wing. Skips it to the perimeter. Number 31. Backs him down. Number 45. Takes it in. Great finish in traffic. Number 30. Inbounds the ball. And it's a five-point game. Passes it to the outside. Number 30 has it outside. Pass to the stripe. Number 24 dumps it off. Hooks three. And it's gathered up by number 31. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Number 31. Number 45. Backs in. Unloads. Nearly had a chance for the four-point play, but he'll go to the line. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And he makes the first. Good on number two. The Jayhawks will make some substitutions. And he makes all three. Number 12 got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. It's a two-point differential. Looks like they're setting up in a 1-3-1 zone, Vern. Gets it outside. Zero feeds it to the outside. Right wing. Dishes it to the perimeter. Zero fires. Cannot stop the drop. The Buckeyes can even the score with a hoop. Number 12. Passes it to the top of the key. Number one gets it left wing. Lob to the free throw line. Intercepted. Not a good decision, Vern. You can't just go ahead and force it inside like that. To the rim. Rebounded by number 25. They get the ball back. Number three. Catches it outside. Number 25. Swings it to the outside. Down low. Number 33. Tries again. Just missed it. No three-point opportunity. He'll go to the line for two. And he makes the first. Number 20 will come out of the game because of foul trouble. He gets them both. And it's a four-point game. away but it's recovered by number one number 12 feeds it to the right lets it go fired short by number 31 number 32 went after that rebound hard great work number 25 has it right wing might have rushed that one just a little bit there was plenty of time in the shot clock but he got a little over anxious lead pass out left Number 12, raises up. What a great shooter. All he needs is a sliver of space, and he'll make you pay. Number 33, inbounds the ball. Right around seven minutes left in the half. Number 25, has it right wing. Number 32, bounces it to the outside. Right wing, with the shot. Snatched by number three. The Buckeyes 
can tie it with a basket. Passes to the left wing. Number 12. Dishes it to the right. Number 3. Unloads. Misses the tying basket. And it's a two-point game. Picked off by number 12. And that'll be his third steal so far. Stolen away. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Number 32. Catches it outside. Outright. From 18 feet away. The basket was made by number 25. He has a great rhythm from there. It's kind of a lost start in this world of dunks and triples. Number 14 has it left block. Number 25 is tagged with the reach. That will be the second foul of the game. The Jayhawks will bring in a whole separate platoon into the game. Substitution on the court. Number 23 inbounds the ball. Number one skips it to the left wing. Baseline. Number 42 inside. Good! It's a two-point differential. Swings it to the wing. Number 10, beats it to the left side, from inside. Grabbed inside by number 30. Not this time, number 42 has picked up his first foul of the game. Easy call on that one. It was pretty obvious he got hit on the release. And he makes the first. Gets them both. Just over five minutes left in the half. Number 33 gets it on the perimeter. Dumps it to the inside. Number 12 backs down. Number 23 catches it left wing. The shot from the wing didn't drop by number 33. And it's a four point game. Number four. Dumps it down low. No good on the last layup by number 15. That's just a fluke. He's such a strong finisher ordinarily. <laughs> number 42, deflected. And it's controlled by Kansas. Goes up. Great finish by number 10. Terrific job to get that one down with the kiss. Hooked away. But it's tracked down by Ohio State. Outside. Passes it to the perimeter. Number 23. Backs him down. Dishes to the left side. Number 42. Grabs the rock. Terrific rebound. That's how you get into position on the offensive class. It takes a bad bounce and goes out of bounds. It's a six-point game. Defense, They're set up in minimum. Defense, 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 Number four defense, has it top of the key. Defense, Swing pass defense, outside. Defense, defense, Number five defense, gets it outside. Defense, the three-pointer was missed by number four. Listen to the crowd burn. This kind of excitement is why I love college basketball. Tries again. It's the layup. Number five inbounds the ball. About three and a half minutes left in the half. Number five swings it to the left wing. That last three corner was missed by number four. Oh, he was wide open, Vern. He has to knock that shot down. Outside. Feeds it to the outside. Number 33. Dumps it off. Number one. His first shot attempt. Number five. Grabs the rebound. And it's a four-point game. Lead pass to the baseline. Number 15. Has it top of the key. Passes right side. Puts it up. The wing shot knocked down by number 10. 
They wasted no time right there. The opportunity was there, and they seized it. 240 left in the first half. Number one. Gets it, right block. Couldn't get the shot, but he was fouled and gets a trip to the line. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Can't sink the first. The Jayhawks are making a group substitution. situation but he couldn't get it done those were absolutely essential number five passes it to the wing number 33 backs in that last 15 footer dropped in this fella is a fantastic offensive player Vern. that kind of defense just isn't going to cut it against him perimeter dishes to the outside Two Number 42. Remaining. Bounces it to the perimeter. It's blocked, but they still have it. Number 14 has it on the perimeter. Lead pass, right wing. They're going to have to hurry. Number 42 catches it, high post. Number 14 can't get the bucket from 18 feet. The Jayhawks can push their lead to double digits. Number five passes it to the perimeter. Number 32 gets some air. Slams it home off the sweet lead pass. Number 45 inbounds the ball. Ten points separating the teams. To the stripe. Backs him down. Swings it to the outside. Number 23 dishes to the left. Knocked loose. But it's recovered by number 45. Hands it off. Number 14 catches it. High post. No dice on that last shot. 54 seconds left in the first half. Picked off by number 23. Not a good decision, Vern. You can't just go ahead and force it inside like that. To the middle. Number 12 cannot stop the draft. He couldn't get it that time, and the D did a great job of making it tough on him. Zero backs down. Zero hands it off. Catches it, left wing, launches it. Number 45. Pulls it down inside. Let's it go. The three-pointer was missed by number 14. That takes us to halftime with the score 41 to 31. Now it's time to bring you our power bar play of the half. Bill. Number 33 would not be denied. He was going to do everything and anything to get his points. Whether he had to go over, under, or around defenders to get to the 10, he did it. He is a man possessed right now, Vern. Thanks a lot, Bill. And that's our Power Bar Player of the Half. We're all set to begin the second half, so let's get back into it. The Kansas coach is making a lineup change, and this might be a great decision. Some of these players play great together. Bonnie Bernstein has more as to what went on at halftime. Bonnie? Well, over the break, I had a word with the head coach of the Jayhawks. He didn't have much to complain about with the lead they had at the half. And he held the first half stat sheet in front of me and pointed to the steals category. He said, that's not necessarily something you can always plan for. But my team's intensity in the first half was tremendous on defense, gave us a bunch of turnovers and points that resulted afterwards. Thank you, Bonnie. Number 14, passes to the outside. They need to get a shot off. Right wing. Gets it to four. Look at that. Clock ticking down. Way behind the arc. And he knocks it down. Number 24. Inbounds the ball. Swings it to the outside. Defense, 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 defense,
Number 24 dumps it on. Skips it to the top of the key. Number three gets it left wing. That last triple off the mark. Lead pass. Rip down inside. Right number 31. Number Fantastic play to get the second chance points. Number 25. Misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. The first. Number 20 will come out of the game because of foul trouble. He gets them both. Deflected. And it's scooped up by number three. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Gets it. Left wing. Number 12. Beats it to the outside. Right side. Number 3. Backs down. Dumps it to the middle. Number 45 takes the shot. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. First team foul. Can't sink the first. That's got to be frustrating. They desperately need to narrow the gap, and instead, they come away empty. Number 25. Dishes to the perimeter. Number 3. Catches it out left. Passes. Baseline. Number 25. Has it outside. Behind the arc. It was nailed by number 15. I don't know how we got that wide open. The D needs a wake-up call. Number 45 inbounds the ball. Just over 17 minutes left in the second half. Number 12 passes to the outside. Outside. Dishes to the outside. Number 3 dumps it off. Number 12. Bounces it to the right side. Number 12. Gets it. Right wing. Lead pass. Top of the key. Last shot missed by number 31. Number 3. From deep. Number 45. Corrals the miss inside. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. Picked off. Catches it on the inside. Number 25. Return to sender. The Jayhawks with the block by 12. Number 12. Swings it to the outside. Left side. Skips it to the baseline. Number 45. To the rim. Up and in off the glass. A little kiss on the inside. Number 24 inbounds the ball. Ten points separating the teams. Number 25. Beats it to the top of the key. Number 15 catches it outside. Dumps it down low. The steal by Ohio State. Under 16 minutes left in the second half. The powerful dunk was hammered down by number 31. I lay it in when you can send it in. You know what kind of defense they're in, don't you, Burn? Hit them in. Number three. Gets it, baseline. Backs him down. The nine-footer hauled down off the board by number 45. Ooh, tried to kiss. 
Number 31 takes it in, catches the nice lead pass in stride, and hits the layup. Number 50 passes to the outside. Top of the key. Dishes it to the left wing. Number 24. Number 30 hands it off. Shoots it. The tray was cashed in by number 15. The D was there, but with a shooter like him, any amount of room is too much. Passes to the perimeter. Number 45 backs in. Number 14 gets it on the perimeter. Skip pass outright. The shot clock's winding down. Number 31 can't return the favor with his own three. And it's gathered up by number three. Gets it left side. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Right around 14 minutes left in the second half. Number 30 feeds it to the baseline. Number 25 hits the layup. With the D just standing around, it's just too easy. You know he's dropping that one in. Ohio State calls timeout. some players from off the bench. Number 31 to the right. Here's your seatbelt. Here's the State Farm drive of the game. This game plan is simple. Just get him the ball. He's your main guy. Lethal. He is so hard to defend. The Jayhawks can push their lead to double digits. Perimeter. Swings it to the perimeter. Number 32. Backs down. The tough shot. Tip back up and in. Look at him. Rip it off the glass. You have to put a body on this guy or he'll give his team second chance points all game. Right around 13 minutes left in the second half. Lead pass to the middle. Last shot jammed in by number 45. How about that look? Beautiful cut and a terrific lead pass. Number three gets it outside. Lob baseline. Number 32 backs in to the rack. Number 23 has it. And that's his third rebound of the contest. Number 14 tickles the twine. Nice job to convert from in close. He didn't mess around right there, just straight up. Gets it outside. Number 30 dishes it to the perimeter. Left wing passes cross court, but it's tracked down by number 32. Number three passes back to the outside. From D, buries it. Well, the defense was there, but he shook it off and drained it from deep. Number 23 inbounds the ball, and it's a 10-point game. Hands it off. Number 23 catches it right wing. The last play was cast in by number one. That's how you answer. Give up the three and then get it right back. 
Swing pass outside. Deflected, but it's tracked down by Kenzie. From D. Nothing but net by number three. Great delivery with the skip pass. That set up the shot perfectly. Number 14. Has it on the perimeter. Number 23. Dishes to the top of the key. Number 45. Gets airborne. The Jayhawks all time. set for long and he's coming back into the ball game. Number 32 inbounds the ball. The Jayhawks can push their lead to double digits. Right wing. Beats it to the outside. Number 32. Passes it to the left. Backs him down, puts it up. They push the lead to double digits on the basket by number 24. Uses the fadeaway even when he's open, Vern. A little showmanship. Ten points separating the teams. Number one gets it outside. Outside. Number 23. Has it far side. Number 14. Dishes it to the left wing. Number 31. Fades away. Hits it. Good effort. He was giving up some size, but he ignored the mismatch. Left side. From the wing. It's ripped down for an offensive board by number 33. Number 33. Didn't get that rebound by accident. He knew right where to be. Bounces it to the right side. Number 31. Backs down. Leaves it up and in. There's just no way they're going to keep up with him in there. It's a six-point game. Beats it to the left wing. Number 32 gets it top of the key. Number 33 gets some air, hammers it in. Great job taking it to the 10 against the smaller player. Send it in. Stolen by number 33. The finisher. The layup was dropped in by number three. Number three. Well, he's getting his share of shots for him, but I'm sure he'd like to get more of them to drop. That could turn this game around if he gets hot. Right around nine minutes left in the second half. Pass, left wing. Number 14, dumps it off. Number one, catches it on the perimeter. Number 12, passes to the right block. Top of the key, number 31, with the shot. Sinks it from the top of the key. The Jayhawks, all time.
but sometimes are making substitutions. Number 25. Beats it to the top of the key. Number 50. Gets it left wing. Number 24. Hands it off. Number 30. Backs in. Gets nothing but net. Great moves inside. I can't believe they didn't run another guy at him. Hard to imagine with the effectiveness he's shown. Number 20. Inbounds the ball. And it's a 10-point game. Swing pass. Outside. Number 12, from 18 feet away. Number 20, rips it down. The last layup, no good. The D was lurking on that one, and it was just enough to throw it off. Gets it on the perimeter. Number 15, swings it to the outside. Top of the key, passes it to the outside. Number 24, shoots. The D affected that shot, no good, by number 30. The defense set the tone there. That's a really nice stop. Skips it to the left side. Number 14 has it outside. Bounce pass, left side. Number 20, backs down. Can't lay it in off the up and under, and it's a 10-point game. Deflected. But it's tracked down by number four. Gets it outside. Number 50 dishes to the baseline. Number 25 dumps it off. Hook loose. And it's scooped up by number 14. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Last shot dropped in by number 12. Under seven minutes left in the second half. Outside. Lobs it to the baseline. Number 30 backs down. Number 50. Swings it to the perimeter. Number 30 catches it on the perimeter. Number 50 fires the three. Got it. Solid mechanics allow him to drill it from downtown even when he's not wide open. And that was exactly the case there. Number 20 inbounds the ball. Lead pass to the inside. From eight feet, Defense almost got it to fall, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Third, personal foul. Second team foul. Down the first one, the Jayhawks are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. He's off on the second. Ten points separating the teams. Number 32. Nice dish by number four. Ohio State calls timeout. Timeout on the floor. Under six minutes left in the second half. Gets it on the perimeter. Number 33 dumps it to the middle. The last 
layup is dropped in by number 20. A little kiss on the inside. And it's a 10-point game. To the middle. Number 33 gets vertical. He's either got to foul hard or don't foul at all. You can't just give up easy three-point plays. Number 20 will sit down to avoid further foul trouble. Can't complete the three points, bro. I think these fans are getting excited, Fern. They're making some noise now. Passes to the left wing. Number 45. Backs down. Bounces it to the outside. Number 31. Gets it. Left wing. Left wing. Dumps it off. The shot clock's winding down. Number 12, from about 19 feet, gets it to go. This guy is fun to watch, Vern. He can really fill it up. Gets it, middle. Stuffed home by number 33. The D was out of position there, and it didn't take long for him to send it in. Number 33, feeds it to the perimeter. Number 31, backs down. Right wing, number 12, hands it off. Lead pass to the inside. Last basket was good. Number 12, tough shot there. He's given up so much height to his defender, but he was still able to knock it down. Number 15, backs him down. Number 33, goes up, gently drops it in. They failed to double him, and that can be a costly decision. Absolutely. He's too dangerous down low to fool with. About three and a half minutes left in the second half. Passes back to the outside. Number 31, gets it on the perimeter. Lob, right side. Number 42, backs him down, hands it off. Number 12, count it. What I like is his ability to see the floor and get it to the guys where they can do something with it. Extremely accurate. Kansas calls timeout. Bring the rest of their starters back in the floor. The Jayhawks with a chance for a double digit lead. Gets it middle. Couldn't make it a double digit lead on the miss by number three. It's a nine point spread. The finisher. The layup was dropped in by number 31. A little kiss on the inside. Number 30, inbounds the ball. 2.58 left in the game. Left side, skips it down low. Backs him down. Number 24, takes it in. Number 45, reels it in. Look at the big fella, pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. Number 45, swings it to the right wing. Deflected, and it's controlled by Kansas. That wasn't much of a look. You could see that one coming before he released it. Tipped away. The Buckeyes will retain possession. Great job to get a hand on that one. That's why it's so important to stay active on defense. Hey, 
Number 45 had his pass go out of bounds, and they will give the ball up. That's just a loss of concentration. You got to pick your spot and hit the target. You just can't fling the ball. A seven point spread. Number 25 gets it on the perimeter. Lead pass, top of the key. Knocks it loose, but it's tracked down by Kansas. Number 25. Number 25. Drops. Let's take a look at that one again on the Power Bar Triple Threat Replay. Great play. How did he ever pull this off? Number 20 inbounds the ball. 148 left in the game. Number 31 backs him down. Releases. Offensive board, by number 31. Number 45 pulls the trigger. Can't hit from the elbow. The Jayhawks should slow it down and use some thought. Number 50 dumps it off. Gets it outside. Number 25 passes to the outside. Right side. Feeds it to the top of the key. Number three, the three ball. Yes, every basket is another dagger. The game is all but over, Vern. Ohio State brings it up. Bounces it to the right wing. Number 12, misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. And he makes the first. He gets them both. The Jayhawks have this game pretty much in the bag. Number 30 gets it middle. Pass outside. Number 25, it's good. When he gets a nice look like that, it's almost automatic. The defense needs to work harder at that. Number 45, inbounds the ball. 17 seconds left in the game. Gets it outside, releases. The lead is still double digits after the miss by number 31. Number 15, points up the tray. It's good. With the shot. That's the end of the game. Kansas beats the Buckeyes, 90 to 75. Now let's send it to the studio and Greg Gumbel with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern, and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's Pontiac game-changing performance. A slam dunk that brings the crowd to its feet, always a fan favorite. The Kansas Jayhawks were dominant on the inside today, and that made all the difference. This thunderous jam tells you all you need to know. What a sensational finish. This dunk will definitely wind up on the team's highlight reel. Thanks, Greg. For Bonnie Bernstein and Bill Raftery, I'm Vern Lundquist saying thanks for joining us for College Hoops on 2K Sports.